Hello friends, how you doing? Day 277. It is a Saturday on a long weekend. Uh, Labor Day weekend, yeah. <laughs> uh, hope you're doing amazing. Um, unfortunately this year looks like it's, uh, it's a rainy long weekend, but that's okay. <coughs> I just want to come in and just share a few thoughts on creating change. And um, the reason why I want to come in and kind of talk about this is it is September. And, uh, you know, after this long weekend, people are getting back into different routines, uh, whether it be school, work, after summer. And, you know, people are starting to um, create some changes in their life, right? And uh, I, I forget, I, I think I saw a, a, a photo, a pic of a butterfly. And I kind of just thought about, oh, that's actually that <coughs> process of change for for a butterfly from a cat is very similar to how humans can create change in their lives at the beginning if you think about it a caterpillar um change is very slow right and it may seem at times that uh, there's not much progress happening <coughs> and then um there's a middle phase where um caterpillar starts to go into a cocoon and in this cocoon <coughs> it can get quite messy and challenging and it can be difficult when you're in that cocoon but the thing is what that cocoon is doing is actually preparing you to become the butterfly and to be free and to be able to fly and so you know when you're creating any type of change in life you know, I just want to remind you that at the beginning <coughs> anything that you start you're probably not going to be good at and you're probably not going to get much results at the beginning but i'd encourage you to keep going if it's important to you then you need to push through because in the middle section <coughs> you have to uh you got to push through the challenges uh <coughs> it's going to get hard it's going to be challenging and uh very tempting to give up and, uh, you know, in our day and age where <coughs> everyone's looking for that dopamine hit or that, uh, that result right away, that's not how long-term success works. You got to practice delayed gratification and understand that uh, whatever that you want to create in your life will happen down the road. It's not going to happen overnight, friends. And so, uh, <coughs> but once you become a butterfly, once you hit your goal and achieve what it is that you want in life, guess what? You can look back and be grateful for the journey that you just took. But most importantly, I just want to remind you that it's not what you achieve that is actually most important. It's actually who you become. And so similar to the caterpillar becoming a butterfly, you too are shedding your old self, your old identity, whatever that is and creating a new one and creating a new life is really what you're doing and so you know i just want to share a few thoughts on that and just encourage you you know if you're, at a, <coughs> you're you're in a season of change and creating um starting to create the life that you want then i would just encourage you to push through whatever challenges that you need to and definitely surround yourself with others that are growing as well I just find too many people try to create positive change by themselves because whatever it is, uh, maybe they're stubborn, maybe they don't know where to go to. But I guarantee you that there are lots of people that are <coughs> vibing at your frequency and they want to create change and want to move forward in their lives as well. You just got to go find them, okay? And so uh, that's just some thoughts on creating change as we enter... Um, as we finish uh, essentially the end of summer and start uh, a transition phase. And so hope you're all doing well and uh, enjoying this long weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.